This video is proudly sponsored by Gamersgate. Download games anytime, anywhere. Visit Gamersgate.com. The original Fear was considered a masterpiece by its fans. Its inspirations were clearly from Japanese horror films, The Matrix, and The X-Files. But despite its nearly flawless core concepts, a lot of gamers were literally too scared to play it. But those of us who crave horror loved it. It was successful enough to spawn its own expansion packs and the sequel complete with its own downloadable content. With each iteration, the story was stretched to fit new gameplay. The controls and graphics were altered to suit new consoles, and now Fear 3 is upon us, rounding out a trilogy. Once again, you play as Point Man, the mute protagonist from the original Fear. This time around, your intentions with Alma, your mother, are left purposefully nebulous. Joining you in the fracas is your brother, Paxton Fettel, one of the villains from the original Fear, who is a twisted, psychic spirit able to control the minds of men. The duo gun down any and all Armacam soldiers and hellish baddies that stand in their way. The story, sadly, feels overstretched. Poor Alma is no longer as scary as she used to be. Instead, there is a new fear that occasionally chases her, taking form of a generic monster, reminiscent to the Tool videos from the 90s. Armacam is portrayed as the evil army looking to exploit her supernatural abilities by abducting Beckett, the protagonist from Fear 2. So, in the end, what was once scary, you now pity, and what was once a force simply trying to hold Alma's evil at bay is now out to crush everything in its path. This redistribution of powers is an odd choice for the designers and feels like a step back in the story. It makes the game feel more like a science fiction shooter with buckets of gore and less like a horror shooter. If you were literally too afraid to try a fear game before, now's your chance. This is easily the least scary game in the entire series. But that doesn't mean the game is terrible. On the contrary, the shooting mechanics were quite good. There's a nice variety in weapons to be found. However, the shotgun is severely underpowered to the point of almost being useless. We really enjoyed the new cover mechanics that allow you to hide behind any upright objects, not just the ones that come up to waste level. And body snatching while playing as Fettel is an interesting alternative to the ability to slow time. We had a great time playing Fear 3. The settings are varied, but seldom do you visit any locations with a truly spooky atmosphere. The single-player campaign feels to be an appropriate length for a shooter, and as always, fear delivers in the audio department. But when you've grown tired of the single-player campaign, there is of course your standard assortment of multiplayer matches. However, this time around, there is plenty of co-op to be enjoyed. The co-op is a fantastic feature in Fear 3, and it's something we hope more first-person shooters take advantage of. Aside from playing the campaign together, there are co-op games similar to Left 4 Dead and Call of Duty Zombies mode. One player controls Point Man, while the other controls the overpowered Fettel. We played the PC version and found it very hard to pair up with anyone playing any type of matches. If you're looking to enjoy the multiplayer experience, make sure your friends pick up a copy, or check out the console version. However, if you're not into cooperative gaming, you can still enjoy the maps and challenges that are available to everyone, but in a single-player dose. Aside from the de-scarifying of fear, we do have a few more negative points to bring up that everyone should be aware of. For starters, the menu system is terrible on both console and PC. The cutscenes in between the levels feel subpar for fear standards. The faces in the animation seem more cartoonish than anything else. Also, we are never afraid of a good fight, but there are a few enemy encounters in the game that spike the difficulty from normal to you've gotta be f***ing kidding me in a matter of seconds. Happily, there aren't too many of those. And finally, the lack of a quick save function completely rubbed us the wrong way. There are a ton of very generic first-person shooters out there. We can happily say that Fear 3 doesn't feel like one of them. As a fear game, it seems to fall short of its mark of being scary. Alma's just not cutting it anymore, and the spooky atmosphere is non-existent. As a first-person shooter, it succeeds in being genuinely fun. Just keep the kitties away from the screen, because Fear 3 is an abattoir. We don't recommend rushing out and picking this one up at full price, but at a discount, Fear 3 will be a decent grab. 